Enthalpy listen, a property of a thermodynamic system, is equal to the system's internal energy plus the product of its pressure and volume. For processes at constant pressure, the heat absorbed or released equals the change in enthalpy. The unit of measurement for enthalpy in the International System of Units SI is the joule. Other historical conventional units still in use include the British Thermal Unit BTU and the calorie. Enthalpy comprises a system's internal energy, which is the energy required to create the system, plus the amount of work required to make room for it by displacing its environment and establishing its volume and pressure. Enthalpy is defined as a state function that depends only on the prevailing equilibrium state identified by the system's internal energy, pressure, and volume. It is an extensive quantity. Enthalpy is the preferred expression of system energy changes in many chemical, biological, and physical measurements at constant pressure, because it simplifies the description of energy transfer. At constant pressure, the enthalpy change equals the energy transferred from the environment through heating or work other than expansion work. The total enthalpy, H, of a system cannot be measured directly. The same situation exists in classical mechanics, only a change or difference in energy carries physical meaning. Enthalpy itself is a thermodynamic potential, so in order to measure the enthalpy of a system, we must refer to a defined reference point, therefore what we measure is the change in enthalpy, delta H. The delta H is a positive change in endothermic reactions, and negative in heat-releasing exothermic processes. For processes under constant pressure, delta H is equal to the change in the internal energy of the system, plus the pressure volume work P delta V done by the system on its surroundings, which is greater than zero for an expansion and enthalpy of ideal gases and incompressible solids and liquids does not depend on pressure, unlike entropy and Gibbs energy. Real materials at common temperatures and pressures usually closely approximate this behavior, which greatly simplifies enthalpy calculation and use in practical designs and analyses. History The word enthalpy was coined relatively late, in the early 20th century, in analogy with the 19th century terms energy introduced in its modern sense by Thomas Young in 1802 and entropy coined in analogy to energy by Rudolf Clausius in 1865. It uses the root of Greek thalpos, warmth, heat, where energy has ergon, work, and entropy trope, transformation, by analogy expressing the idea of heat content where energy refers to work content and entropy to transformation content. The term does in fact stand in for the older term, heat content. A term which is now mostly deprecated as misleading, as dH refers to the amount of heat absorbed in a process at constant pressure only. But not in the general case when pressure is variable, Josiah Willard Gibbs used the term a heat function for constant pressure. For clarity, introduction of the concept of heat content. H is associated with Benoit Paul Emile Clapeyron and Rudolf Clausius, Clausius Clapeyron relation, 1850. The term enthalpy first appeared in print in 1909. It is attributed to Heike Kamerling Onnes, who most likely introduced it orally the year before, at the first meeting of the Institute of Refrigeration in Paris. It gained currency only in the 1920s, notably with the Mollier steam tables and diagrams, published in 1927. Until the 1920s, the symbol H was used, somewhat inconsistently, for heat in general. The definition of H is strictly limited to enthalpy or heat content at constant pressure, was formally proposed by Alfred W. Porter in 1922. Formal definition The enthalpy of a thermodynamic system is defined as H equals U plus P V display style H equals U plus P V where H is the enthalpy of the system U is the internal energy of the system P is the pressure of the system V is the volume of the system, enthalpy is an extensive property. This means that, for homogeneous systems, the enthalpy is proportional to the size of the system. It is convenient to introduce the specific enthalpy H. 
Topic H per meter, where m is the mass of the system or the molar enthalpy hum. H n, where n is the number of moles H and hum are intensive properties. For inhomogeneous systems, the enthalpy is the sum of the enthalpies of the composing subsystems. H equals k h k display style h equals sum underscore k h underscore k where the label k refers to the various subsystems in case of continuously varying p t or composition the summation becomes an integral h equals rho h d v display style h equals int rho h dv where rho is the density the enthalpy of homogeneous systems can be viewed as function h s p of the entropy s and the pressure p and a differential relation for it can be derived as follows we start from the first law of thermodynamics for closed systems for an infinitesimal process d u equals delta q minus delta w display style do equals delta q delta w here delta q is a small amount of heat added to the system and delta w a small amount of work performed by the system in a homogeneous system only reversible processes can take place so the second law of thermodynamics gives delta q topic TDS, with T the absolute temperature of the system. Furthermore, if only PV work is done, delta W PDV. As a result, D U equals T D S minus P D V Display style do equals t dsp dv. Adding d p v to both sides of this expression gives d u plus d p v equals t d s minus p d v plus d P V Display style do plus D P V equals T D S P D V plus D P V or D U plus P V equals T D S plus V D P Display style d u plus p v equals t d s plus v d p. So d h s p equals t d s plus v d p. Display style d h s p equals t d s plus v d p. Topic: Other expressions. The above expression of dH in terms of entropy and pressure may be unfamiliar to some readers. However, there are expressions in terms of more familiar variables such as temperature and pressure. dH equals C P D T plus V. 1 minus alpha t d p display style dh equals c underscore p dt plus v 1 alpha t dp here cp is the heat capacity at constant pressure and alpha is the coefficient of cubic thermal expansion alpha equals 1 v v t P 
Display style alpha equals frac 1 v left frac partial v partial t right underscore p. With this expression, one can, in principle, determine the enthalpy if C p and v are known as functions of p and t. Note that for an ideal gas, alpha t equals 1, so that d h equals C p d t. Display style d h equals C underscore p d t. In a more general form, the first law describes the internal energy with additional terms involving the chemical potential and the number of particles of various types. The differential statement for dH then becomes d h equals T d s plus V d P plus I mu I D N I display style dH equals T dS plus V DP plus sum underscore I mu underscore I DN underscore I where mu I is the chemical potential per particle for an I type particle and Ni is the number of such particles the last term can also be written as mu I DN I with DN I the number of moles of component I added to the system and, in this case, mu I the molar chemical potential or as mu I DM I with DM I the mass of component I added to the system and, in this case, mu I the specific chemical potential. <laughs> Physical interpretation The U term can be interpreted as the energy required to create the system, and the PV term as the work that would be required to make room for the system if the pressure of the environment remained constant. When a system, for example, n moles of a gas of volume 5 at pressure P and temperature T, is created or brought to its present state from absolute zero, energy must be supplied equal to its internal energy U plus PV, where PV is the work done in pushing against the ambient atmospheric pressure. In basic physics and statistical mechanics it may be more interesting to study the internal properties of the system and therefore the internal energy is used. In basic chemistry, experiments are often conducted at constant atmospheric pressure, and the pressure volume work represents an energy exchange with the atmosphere that cannot be accessed or controlled, so that delta H is the expression chosen for the heat of reaction. For a heat engine a change in its internal energy is the difference between the heat input and the pressure volume work done by the working substance while a change in its enthalpy is the difference between the heat input and the work done by the engine. D H equals delta Q minus delta W display style D H equals delta Q delta W where the work W done by the engine is W equals minus P D V display style W equals point P D V topic relationship to heat In order to discuss the relation between the enthalpy increase and heat supply, we return to the first law for closed systems, do. Topic <laughs> delta Q minus delta W. We apply it to the special case with a uniform pressure at the surface. In this case, the work term can be split into two contributions: the so-called PV work, given by PdV, where here P is the pressure at the surface, dV is the increase of the volume of the system, and all other types of work delta W, such as by a shaft or by electromagnetic interaction. So we write delta W PdV plus delta W. In this case, the first law reads. D U equals Delta Q minus P D V minus Delta W display style do equals Delta Q P D V Delta W or D H equals Delta Q 
plus v d p minus delta w display style dh equals delta q plus v dp delta w from this relation we see that the increase in enthalpy of a system is equal to the added heat d h equals delta q display style dh equals delta q provided that the system is under constant pressure dp topic 0 and that the only work done by the system is expansion work delta w 0 topic applications In thermodynamics, one can calculate enthalpy by determining the requirements for creating a system from nothingness. The mechanical work required, PV, differs based upon the conditions that obtain during the creation of the thermodynamic system. Energy must be supplied to remove particles from the surroundings to make space for the creation of the system, assuming that the pressure P remains constant, this is the PV term. The supplied energy must also provide the change in internal energy, U, which includes activation energies, ionization energies, mixing energies, vaporization energies, chemical bond energies, and so forth. Together, these constitute the change in the enthalpy U plus PV. For systems at constant pressure, with no external work done other than the PV work, the change in enthalpy is the heat received by the system. For a simple system, with a constant number of particles, the difference in enthalpy is the maximum amount of thermal energy derivable from a thermodynamic process in which the pressure is held constant. <laughs> Heat of reaction The total enthalpy of a system cannot be measured directly, the enthalpy change of a system is measured instead. Enthalpy change is defined by the following equation. Delta H equals H F minus H I display style delta H equals H underscore mathrm F H underscore mathrm I, where delta H is the enthalpy change. H F is the final enthalpy of the system in a chemical reaction. The enthalpy of the products. High is the initial enthalpy of the system in a chemical reaction, the enthalpy of the reactants. For an exothermic reaction at constant pressure, the system's change in enthalpy equals the energy released in the reaction, including the energy retained in the system and lost through expansion against its surroundings. In a similar manner, for an endothermic reaction, the system's change in enthalpy is equal to the energy absorbed in the reaction, including the energy lost by the system and gained from compression from its surroundings. If delta H is positive, the reaction is endothermic, that is heat is absorbed by the system due to the products of the reaction having a greater enthalpy than the reactants. On the other hand, if delta H is negative, the reaction is exothermic, that is the overall decrease in enthalpy is achieved by the generation of heat, from the definition of enthalpy is H equals U plus P V Display style H equals U plus PV. The enthalpy change at constant pressure. Delta H equals delta U plus P delta V. Display style delta H equals delta U plus P delta five. However, for most chemical reactions, the work term P delta V display style P delta 5 is much smaller than the internal energy change Delta u display style Delta u which is approximately equal to Delta H display style Delta H as an example for the combustion of carbon monoxide 2 co G plus o2 G 2 co2 G Delta H display style delta H equals minus 566 0 kilojoules and delta U display style delta U 
equals minus 563.5 kJ. Since the differences are so small, reaction enthalpies are often loosely described as reaction energies and analyzed in terms of bond energies. Equals. Topic: Specific enthalpy. Topic: The specific enthalpy of a uniform system is defined as H. H per meter where m is the mass of the system. The SI unit for specific enthalpy is joule per kilogram. It can be expressed in other specific quantities by H. Equals U plus PV, where U is the specific internal energy, P is the pressure, and V is specific volume, which is equal to 1, rho, where rho is the density. Equals Enthalpy changes Equals an enthalpy change describes the change in enthalpy observed in the constituents of a thermodynamic system when undergoing a transformation or chemical reaction. It is the difference between the enthalpy after the process has completed, i.e. the enthalpy of the products, and the initial enthalpy of the system, i.e. the reactants. These processes are reversible and the enthalpy for the reverse process is the negative value of the forward change. A common standard enthalpy change is the enthalpy of formation, which has been determined for a large number of substances. Enthalpy changes are routinely measured and compiled in chemical and physical reference works, such as the CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. The following is a selection of enthalpy changes commonly recognized in thermodynamics. When used in these recognized terms the qualifier change is usually dropped and the property is simply termed enthalpy of process. Since these properties are often used as reference values it is very common to quote them for a standardized set of environmental parameters, or standard conditions, including a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius or 298.15 K a pressure of 1 atmosphere 1 atmosphere or 101.325 kPa a concentration of 1.0 M when the element or compound is present in solution Elements or compounds in their normal physical states, i.e. standard state, for such standardized values the name of the enthalpy is commonly prefixed with the term standard, e.g. standard enthalpy of formation. Chemical properties Enthalpy of reaction, defined as the enthalpy change observed in a constituent of a thermodynamic system when one mole of substance reacts completely. Enthalpy of formation, defined as the enthalpy change observed in a constituent of a thermodynamic system when one mole of a compound is formed from its elementary antecedents. Enthalpy of combustion, defined as the enthalpy change observed in a constituent of a thermodynamic system when one mole of a substance burns completely with oxygen. Enthalpy of hydrogenation, defined as the enthalpy change observed in a constituent of a thermodynamic system when one mole of an unsaturated compound reacts completely with an excess of hydrogen to form a saturated compound. Enthalpy of atomization, defined as the enthalpy change required to atomize one mole of compound completely. Enthalpy of neutralization, defined as the enthalpy change observed in a constituent of a thermodynamic system when one mole of water is formed when an acid and a base react. Standard enthalpy of solution, defined as the enthalpy change observed in a constituent of a thermodynamic system when one mole of a solute is dissolved completely in an excess of solvent, so that the solution is at infinite dilution. Standard enthalpy of denaturation biochemistry, defined as the enthalpy change required to denature one mole of compound. Enthalpy of hydration, defined as the enthalpy change observed when one mole of gaseous ions are completely dissolved in water forming one mole of aqueous ions, physical properties Enthalpy of fusion, defined as the enthalpy change required to completely change the state of one mole of substance between solid and liquid states. Enthalpy of vaporization, defined as the enthalpy change required to completely change the state of one mole of substance between liquid and gaseous states. Enthalpy of sublimation, defined as the enthalpy change required to completely change the state of one mole of substance between solid and gaseous states. Lattice enthalpy, defined as the energy required to separate one mole of an ionic compound into separated gaseous ions to an infinite distance apart meaning no force of attraction.
Enthalpy of mixing, defined as the enthalpy change upon mixing of two non-reacting chemical substances. Topic: <inaudible> Open systems. In thermodynamic open systems, matter may flow in and out of the system boundaries. The first law of thermodynamics for open systems states, the increase in the internal energy of a system is equal to the amount of energy added to the system by matter flowing in and by heating, minus the amount lost by matter flowing out and in the form of work done by the system. D U equals delta Q plus D U in minus D U out minus delta W display style do equals delta Q plus do underscore text in do underscore text out delta W where U I N is the average internal energy entering the system and U out is the average internal energy leaving the system. The region of space enclosed by the boundaries of the open system is usually called a control volume, and it may or may not correspond to physical walls. If we choose the shape of the control volume such that all flow in or out occurs perpendicular to its surface, then the flow of matter into the system performs work as if it were a piston of fluid pushing mass into the system, and the system performs work on the flow of matter out as if it were driving a piston of fluid. There are then two types of work performed, flow work described above, which is performed on the fluid this is also often called PV work, and shaft work, which may be performed on some mechanical device. These two types of work are expressed in the equation delta w equals d p out v out minus d p in v in plus delta w shaft Display style delta W equals D P underscore text out V underscore text out D P underscore text in V underscore text in plus delta W underscore text shaft. Substitution into the equation above for the control volume C V yields D U C V equals delta Q plus D U in plus D P in V in minus D U out minus D P out V out minus delta W shaft Display style do underscore text C V equals delta Q plus do underscore text in plus D P underscore text in V underscore text in do underscore text out D P underscore text out V underscore text out delta W underscore text shaft. The definition of enthalpy, H, permits us to use this thermodynamic potential to account for both internal energy and PV work in fluids for open systems. D U C V equals Delta Q plus D H in minus D H out minus Delta W shaft Display style do underscore text C V equals delta Q plus D H underscore text in D H underscore text out delta W underscore text shaft. If we allow also the system boundary to move, e.g. due to moving pistons, we get a rather general form of the first law for open systems. In terms of time derivatives, it reads D U D T equals K Q K plus K H K minus K P K D V K D 
T minus P display style frac do dt equals sum underscore k dot q underscore k plus sum underscore k dot h underscore k sum underscore k p underscore k frac dv underscore k dt p with sums over the various places k where heat is supplied matter flows into the system and boundaries are moving the terms represent enthalpy flows which can be written as h K equals H K M K equals H M N K Display style dot H underscore K equals H underscore K dot M underscore K equals H underscore M dot N underscore K with mark the mass flow and NK the molar flow at position K respectively. The term dvk, dt represents the rate of change of the system volume at position k that results in PV power done by the system. The parameter p represents all other forms of power done by the system such as shaft power, but it can also be e.g. electric power produced by an electrical power plant. Note that the previous expression holds true only if the kinetic energy flow rate is conserved between system inlet and outlet. Otherwise, it has to be included in the enthalpy balance. During steady state operation of a device, see turbine, pump, and engine, the average do dt may be set equal to zero. This yields a useful expression for the average power generation for these devices in the absence of chemical reactions. P equals K Q K plus K H K minus K P K D V K D T display style P equals sum underscore K left Langle dot Q underscore K right wrangle plus sum underscore K left Langle dot H underscore K right wrangle sum underscore K left Langle P underscore K F R A C D V underscore K D T right wrangle where the angle brackets denote time averages. The technical importance of the enthalpy is directly related to its presence in the first law for open systems, as formulated above. Diagrams The enthalpy values of important substances can be obtained using commercial software. Practically all relevant material properties can be obtained either in tabular or in graphical form. There are many types of diagrams, such as HT diagrams, which give the specific enthalpy as function of temperature for various pressures, and HP diagrams, which give H as function of P for various T. One of the most common diagrams is the temperature-specific entropy diagram TS diagram. It gives the melting curve and saturated liquid and vapor values together with isobars and isenthalps. These diagrams are powerful tools in the hands of the thermal engineer. Topic: Some basic applications. The points A through H in the figure play a role in the discussion in this section. A T. Topic: 300 K P. 1 bar s equals 6 85 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 461 kilojoules per kilogram b t topic 380k p 2 bars s equals 6 85 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 530 kilojoules per kilogram c t topic 300 k p 200 bars s equals 5 16 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 430 kilojoules per kilogram d t Topic 
270 k p 1 bar s equals 6 79 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 430 kilojoules per kilogram e t topic 108 k p 13 bars s equals 3 55 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 100 kilojoules per kilogram saturated liquid at 13 bars ft equals 77 2 k p equals 1 bar s equals 3 75 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 100 kilojoules per kilogram gt equals 77 2 k p equals 1 bar s equals 2 83 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 28 kilojoules per kilogram saturated liquid at 1 bar ht equals 77 2 k p equals 1 bar s equals 5 41 kilojoules kilogram k h equals 230 kilojoules per kilogram saturated gas at 1 bar topic throttling One of the simple applications of the concept of enthalpy is the so-called throttling process, also known as Joule-Thomson expansion. It concerns a steady adiabatic flow of a fluid through a flow resistance valve, porous plug, or any other type of flow resistance as shown in the figure. This process is very important, since it is at the heart of domestic refrigerators, where it is responsible for the temperature drop between ambient temperature and the interior of the refrigerator. It is also the final stage in many types of liquefiers. For a steady state flow regime, the enthalpy of the system dotted rectangle has to be constant. Hence 0 equals m h 1 minus m h 2 display style 0 equals dot m h underscore 1 dot m h underscore 2 since the mass flow is constant, the specific enthalpies at the two sides of the flow resistance are the same. H 1 equals H 2 display style H underscore 1 equals H underscore 2 That is, the enthalpy per unit mass does not change during the throttling. The consequences of this relation can be demonstrated using the TS diagram above. Point C is at 200 bars and room temperature 300 K. A Joule-Thomson expansion from 200 bars to 1 bar follows a curve of constant enthalpy of roughly 425 kilojoules per kilogram, not shown in the diagram, lying between the 400 and 450 kilojoules per kilogram isenthalps and ends in point D, which is at a temperature of about 270 K. Hence the expansion from 200 bars to 1 bar cools nitrogen from 300 K to 270 K. In the valve, there is a lot of friction, and a lot of entropy is produced, but still the final temperature is below the starting value. Point E is chosen so that it is on the saturated liquid line with H. Topic: 100 kJ per kilogram. It corresponds roughly with P. 13 bars and T equals 108 K throttling from this point to a pressure of 1 bar ends in the two-phase region point F. This means that a mixture of gas and liquid leaves the throttling valve. Since the enthalpy is an extensive parameter, the enthalpy in F HF is equal to the enthalpy in G HG multiplied by the liquid fraction in F XF plus the enthalpy in H HH multiplied by the gas fraction in F 1 minus XF. So H F equals X F H G plus one minus X F H H Display style H underscore Math BF F equals X underscore Math BF F H underscore Math BF G plus one X underscore Math BF F H underscore Math BF H with numbers 100 topic 
xf times 28 plus 1 minus xf times 230 so xf 0.64 this means that the mass fraction of the liquid in the liquid gas mixture that leaves the throttling valve is 64% topic compressors A power P is applied e.g. as electrical power. If the compression is adiabatic, the gas temperature goes up. In the reversible case it would be at constant entropy, which corresponds with a vertical line in the TS diagram. For example, compressing nitrogen from one bar point a, to two bars point B, would result in a temperature increase from 300 K to 380 K in order to let the compressed gas exit at ambient temperature Ta, heat exchange, e.g. by cooling water, is necessary. In the ideal case the compression is isothermal. The average heat flow to the surroundings is Q. Since the system is in the steady state the first law gives 0 equals minus Q plus M H 1 minus M H 2 plus P Display style zero equals dot q plus dot m h underscore one dot m h underscore two plus p. The minimal power needed for the compression is realized if the compression is reversible. In that case, the second law of thermodynamics for open systems gives zero equals minus q t a plus m s. 1 minus m s 2 display style 0 equals frac dot q t underscore mathrm a plus dot m s underscore 1 dot m s underscore 2 eliminating q gives for the minimal power p min m equals h 2 minus H one minus T A S two minus S one Display style FRAC P underscore text min dot M equals H underscore two H underscore one T underscore mathem A S underscore two S underscore one for example, compressing 1 kg of nitrogen from 1 bar to 200 bars costs at least hc ha minus ta sc sa. With the data, obtained with the TS diagram, we find a value of 430 minus 461 minus 300 times 5.16 minus 6.85 equals 476 kJ per kilogram. The relation for the power can be further simplified by writing it as p min m equals 1 2 d h minus t a d s display style frac p underscore text min dot m equals int underscore 1 caret 2 d h t underscore mathrm a d s with dH equals TDS plus VDP, this results in the final relation P min M equals 1 2 V D P Display style FRAC P underscore text min dot M equals int underscore 1 carrot 2 V D P Topic. See also Standard enthalpy change of formation data table Calorimetry Calorimeter Departure function Hess's law Eisenthalpic process Stagnation enthalpy Thermodynamic databases for pure substances Notes <laughs>